So the people that got affected the most by Tupac joining Death Row was Lady of Rage and RBX. Y'all got affected a little, but y'all album already came out and it was performing well. But the people that got hit hard by him joining was Lady of Rage and RBX. Uh, well, as you can say, nobody got affected by it because Death Row blew up. Yeah, it's just that actually with Tupac coming home, just to be honest with you, it made everything grow until, you know, the feud jumped in. And once the feud jumped in, that's what affected everything. But it wasn't just Tupac. We was all into some different shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it didn't affect me and Daz because we on... Uh, one of the yeah, most, y'all was already doing your thing. But we already on one of the most classic records on Tupac's album. We met the man in red and inspected deck. I got my mind made up, so we won. Plus the fact that Daz, Daz, Daz produced a number but a gangster party. He made that record, and then Daz also made Scandalous. That's on Tupac's album. See what I'm saying? And Daz made got my mind made up. So we won because we was a part. You see what I'm saying? And I was on uh, uh, checkout time as well. See what I'm saying? So we made it. It kept us going. You know what I'm saying? Then we did, then we did, then we did House of Blues. Shut it down, which is one of the most classic performances uh, shows in the game. Tupac, Snoopy, Dog Pound, Outlaws. House of Blues, we shut them down, and that, that was that was the key to the game. So you know what I'm saying, and also, you know, everybody won, but when that feud kicked in, you know, a lot of people wasn't with the feud, especially Rage. She was like, "Oh hell to the no," because Rage wasn't with none of that type of. Shit. You know what I'm saying, and uh, you know, you just had to respect it. Even Suge respected it. Like, don't worry about the Rage. And just kept on pushing, which also took her out the loop because if you was in that feud, you got that support. You see what I'm saying? It is what it is because you was active with every movement going on. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, so th that's how it was. You know, Death Row was boot camp. You know, if you active, you're in. If you're not active, you got to wait. Unfortunate, man. Nice breakdown, too. The way you broke that down, because I always wonder why the Lady of Rage never came out, man. But, um, yeah, man. Unfortunate, man. Because she was dope, man. She could spit. No, Rage was, Rage, Rage was the one. She was the first one signed to Death Row that Dr. Dre signed. It was Rage. It was Rage first. Then he signed Snoopy. You know what I'm saying? Then came the rest of us. You know what I'm saying? So Rage was, was number one in there, but you know, it moved so fast. It was so fast paced. So Rage didn't really, she didn't lose because Rage ain't gonna move fast just because that's what people want her to do. She's gonna stick to her pace. Whether yeah, she's gonna go at her own time. At her, her own, own time, her own pace. She was, she still would have, if the death row would have stayed together, she still would have had one of the biggest. Uh, records that came out guaranteed. If if Death Row didn't uh, shut down, Rage was going to have one. Of, you know what I'm saying? So she didn't lose. It was the time. The timing is what really affected Lady of Rage from coming out with under that umbrella like that. You know, so she really didn't lose because she won in film after that. You know, um, <clears throat> you know, she just didn't get an opportunity to drop her record under that umbrella with that on um, during that hot time. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah.